Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best MEDC, and today I would like to talk to you about my favorite Swiss Army knives. And full disclosure, there was one I wanted to include in this video. I kept forgetting to buy it. It went out of stock. It became hard to find because one Zach over at Blade HQ kept telling everybody how great it was. So now it's been hard to find. It finally came back in stock, but I decided to do this video without that one anyway. And that is the Victorinox Compact. The more I looked at that Swiss Army knife, the more I realized that tool set is actually quite nice. So uh, I will get that one and maybe I'll comment on that in the future, what I think of the Compact. But for now, these have been the Swiss Army knives that I have carried the most. And if I had to choose one, I would choose from these to put in my pocket. So with that said, let's do the damn thing. All right, so let's start with my very first Swiss Army knife. That would be the Pioneer X. I think most of us had Swiss Army knives as kids. I think most of us probably had knockoffs. I had a knockoff. I didn't have a real one until about two or three years ago. Uh, but the first one that I purposefully bought was the Pioneer X. And this was the, the knife for me because it had everything I wanted, which was a main blade, which now I don't really care so much about the main blade on a Swiss Army knife. It's just a, a secondary blade for me. Um, the big flat head with the bottle opener, the can opener with the Phillips, and then the other main thing I cared about was a big pair of scissors. Uh, these scissors are still my favorite scissors. Like, I, I love these things. If I have a small tool with scissors, these are the ones I'm gonna go for every time. The reamer or all is, again, something I don't use too much, but I could see in a situation where I might want that. But this thing is just a tank. I love the Alox scales, all of the Alox versions. If I can get a Swiss Army knife in Alox, I'm gonna go for Alox every time. I don't use the tweezers. I don't use the toothpicks. So I don't really care about those. But the, the Alox just holds up better. It looks better. It feels better. It just feels more premium and more worth the money. So I always tend to opt for that. But the Pioneer X is gonna set you back about $45. The thing for me that keeps me from carrying this any more than I do is just the size and weight. It's, it's heavy, it's big, it's thick. Um, it's, it's definitely got a presence in the pocket and you're not gonna forget it's there. And that's probably why I don't carry this one or EDC this one a whole lot. If I am traveling, I'm probably gonna throw this into my checked baggage so I have something with me when I'm there but uh, it's, I'm not gonna cry if I lose it or anything. I could just pick up another one. So uh, yeah, this one's the one that goes with me if I go somewhere, but it's not really my everyday carry tool. That said, there is something that mitigates the problem with how big and heavy this thing is when it's riding in your pocket. And that is a custom Swiss Army knife. So I have this one from Brassworks, you guys, you guys know. I have several Swiss Army knives from Brassworks. He's a good friend of mine and uh, this one right here is my Pioneer X in titanium, but it has a pocket clip. So there's a little attachment you can get for Swiss Army knives now. I don't remember what it's called, um, but it works with a lot of different versions and it just kind of bolts on and screws and clamps. I, I tried it for a little bit and uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's made by the same people behind Stat Gear and I just, I think it's called the Quick Clip or something. I much prefer something like this where you can get aftermarket scales and have a clip on that. But obviously this costs a whole lot more than this. This is gonna set you back about $45. This would set you back like 250 plus. So big investment, but a uh, really cool investment as well. I, I really like what John does. His work is great. Um, I think this one actually, yeah, yeah. This is a customized one too, so I don't have the can opener on this one, I have the electrician blade on here. So um, pretty cool. He doesn't do those anymore where you can swap out the tools. I have these other two, but we will come back to these in a little bit. So the next Swiss Army knife I bought was the Cadet. And originally I was not a huge fan of this thing. It's really slim. It felt kind of insubstantial in my hand, but it's similar to the Pioneer X. So all your tools are slightly smaller, but you have the same tool set for the most part. You have a flat head with a bottle opener, you have a can opener and the Phillips, you have the primary blade, and then instead of the reamer and all, you have a, a file, which is a very nice addition for me. I, I actually used that more than I'd ever use a reamer. The thing that I didn't like about it was just how small and slim it was. It just felt flimsy compared to the Pioneer X. But I, I gave myself a little test and had I forced myself to carry a cadet for a while. Dude, I fell in love. This thing is just a really, really great Swiss Army knife. It's so small and slim in the pocket, you forget it's there. It was everything I wanted the Pioneer X to be, but better, uh, except for no scissors. So the perfect Swiss Army knife for me would be this size tool with a set of scissors. So like a miniature Pioneer X, uh, but it doesn't exist. So not that, not that I'm aware of. I think the compact comes closest to that, but you have the stuff on the backside. You have the 
uh, corkscrew and, and other stuff, which I think is a little unnecessary. I, I don't think I'd ever use a corkscrew from a Swiss Army knife, but I don't, I don't drink wine, so it doesn't, doesn't really benefit me at all. But I did see uh, a company called Tortoise, I think it's called. They've actually started making fire starters that go into those corkscrews. So I might try to reach out to them and see what that's all about. And that could work with my compact. But for now, that's the Cadet. I love the Cadet. That's going to set you back about 26 bucks. And then, of course, I have a Brassworks Cadet. Same deal, same tools, just acid etched blades and tools. Uh, but yeah, titanium scales just makes it a little better. And this one actually has the different file. It's not the uh, stippled file, I guess is what you call it. I don't know what you call these. I'm not a huge fan of this, t this style file. It's more of a textured surface. But what he did do is actually, I don't know if he swapped them out or what, but this has the better file, the improved file. It doesn't have this stippling or textured file. It's got actually a grooved file. Again, this is going to set you back about 26 bucks. This is going to set you back somewhere in the range of 200. I don't know. He, he sent this to me. I don't know how much he charged for the titanium cadets. Next up is actually my most recent Swiss Army knife purchase other than the compact, which I bought right before shooting this video. And that is the Swiss Army Executive. This is your middle point between the cadet and the classic SD. So it's just a little shorter and thicker than the cadet and longer and thicker than the classic SD. So the tools on this obviously aren't quite as robust, but they're chosen really, really well on the executive. Obviously, this is the first one that I've talked about where you do have the plastic scale. So you have a toothpick and tweezers, uh, but inside you have a really nice nail file, really nice file and a, a pretty good set of scissors. That's on one side. On the other side, you have, for whatever reason, a secondary blade. The thing is so small. It's actually shorter and wider than the classic SD blade. For whatever reason, this knife has a secondary blade. I, I don't know. You have an orange peeler, uh, which I don't think I've ever considered using. And then you have your primary blade. So you can see how much smaller that secondary blade is. The primary blade on this thing is not very large either. Um, the main thing that really does it for me with this knife is the, the scissors and the file. So you're missing a nice flat head. There's no bottle opener. It's missing a lot of essential tools that a lot of other Swiss Army knives have. It's more of a classic, like businessy carry, I guess. As indicated by the name Executive, it seems more, you know, business oriented. Regardless, I think it's a really nice size. I would like to see this size with different tool sets. I know there are different versions, but you don't get, you know, your flat head or anything, which is the one thing that it's really missing for me is, is the flat head. That's something I use a lot. Uh, this doesn't have that, but I still like it. I still carry it. It's mostly just a grooming tool for me. That is the executive and that'll set you back about 24 bucks. So it's not very expensive. It's a nice little entry level Swiss Army knife. If I had to choose just one Swiss Army knife, it'd probably be this one. The tool set is very small and limited. Um, most people might think that the tools on this are just not that effective, but I've found otherwise to be completely honest. So you have a, uh, like a cuticle pusher here on the very end. You have a ruler and a, a Phillips head. You have a letter opener, I guess is what that one is. You have your secondary like worm cliff or sheep's foot blade. And then you have a nail file there. There's so many tools in this thing. You have your pair of scissors here. You have a Phillips head, like a small Phillips head, a bottle opener and your primary blade there. So you have a drop point and a sheep's foot blade. So you have just a nice selection of tools here. And I've found so many of them to be useful, even though they're very, very small. The scissors have come in clutch. I have literally never used any of the knives on this. Um, the letter opener, I don't think I've ever even used either, but the Phillips head on this has come in handy for fixing sunglasses. The little flathead's all right. The nail file and the scissors probably are the most used tools for this. Again, just a little grooming tool and just something that, you know, that comes in clutch. It's not something I use all the time, but it's so small. It just goes into my fifth pocket and just stays there forever. And if I ever need it, it's there. This one I carry probably more than any of them. Mini Champ Alox. The thing about this one is the price. It's not cheap for a Swiss Army knife. It's $42 for this itty bitty little knife. And you can see it's the exact same size as the classic SD. So this will set you back about 20 some, uh, the Alox version. This, 40 $2 for the Alex version, the non Alex, the plastic scaled version of the mini champ is closer to 30. I think it's like $29. So that one's a little more reasonable. This one is definitely a premium. You're paying for that Alex, I guess. But the last Swiss army knife on my list is probably the best value Swiss army knife out of all of these. And that is the Tinker. You can find these everywhere. They're like 15 to $20. They come in a million different colors. Of course you get your toothpick and your tweezers. 
The one thing that I really, really like about the, the Tinker is that you have a full-sized Phillips here, but I hate that 90 degree Phillips. I really would prefer one to be in line, but I mean, for what you're paying for the Tinker, it's not really worth complaining about. And then you also have a reamer or awl on the back side. On the other side though, you have similar tools to the Pioneer and the Cadet, which is a can opener with a Phillips, a flat head with a bottle opener, your primary blade, but instead of a file or the reamer or all, you get a secondary blade. Again, why? I don't want a secondary blade. Like I know why there's a secondary blade. If one goes dull, you've got to back up more precise tasks, but still I just would rather have a file. If this had a file, it'd be a really, really great tool, but it doesn't. There you go, that's the Tinker, and that's only gonna set you back about 20 bucks. You can find these, again, all over the place and in a bunch of different colors. It's probably the most popular Swiss Army knife, if I were to guess, it's just kind of the standard one. Again, if I had to choose just one, it'd probably be the Mini Champ Alox, but of all the Swiss Army knives I have, these are the three that I carry the absolute most the Cadet, Executive, and Mini Champ. But that's it, those are my favorite Swiss Army knives. Uh, of course, I'm trying the Compact out now that I'm able to get my hands on one. So we'll probably revisit this idea later, somewhere way down the road after I've had more Swiss Army knives. But those are my picks for the best Swiss Army knives for EDC. That's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you wanna support what I'm doing here, hit those links down below. Those are affiliate links, so if you purchase anything using those links, it does give me a little bit of a kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's a win-win. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc to support there, or you can go to my store, Carry Commission, and buy gear and merch directly from me. That is at carrycommission.com or carry.best. Uh, be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at BestMEDC. There's now a Facebook group and a Discord server where you can now find us and follow. You can talk to me and keep up to date with stuff when I'm not uploading videos here to the channel. But with that said, and until next time, carry on.